Well, there's a lot of excitement around City of Angels. No wonder, though, it's a six-time Tony Award winner, Mayor. That's awesome, including Best Musical, Sexy, Sizzling, Smart. Those are three of the words that have been used to describe this production. It's also different from other shows you've seen at the Omaha Community Playhouse. This guy right here, Steve Crambeck, is part of the cast. Pleasure to have you here, Steve. It is. You've and been we saw you making everybody. faces in the green room. You're, you're living it up here. I like to have fun <laughs> in the studio. Yeah, we you like do. like that. Uh, like <laughs> tell us about the City of Angels. What, what's this about? Is it? I mean, there's a movie out yes. called City of Angels. What, not what's at going all. On? This we do not have Nicolas Cage and okay. Meg Ryan roles. This is nothing okay. like the movie. This is a uh, it's a story about a writer who has written a successful film noir private eye novel. Mm -hmm. And uh, my character, Buddy, the sleazy Hollywood producer, mm -hmm. bought the rights to the book. Is kind of showing him the ropes and how to turn the book into a movie. And so you've got the real Hollywood world that is in full color, mm -hmm. but you also have this film noir world that we see part of the story unfold, uh -huh. and that's all going to be in black and white. Wow. And it can't be true black and white, clearly, because of skin tone and things, but we do our best with uh, <laughs> tricks of the light yeah. sure, sure, or, sure. or costuming choices that really uh -huh. reinforce the this is Hollywood real life, this is film noir And the audience fiction. can tell the difference, right? Because, because of the work you're putting into it to make those distinctions. It's not like they have to work too hard to figure it out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sets, lights, all of that goes in towards letting you know, okay, we're here now, oh, mm -hmm. now we've transitioned. I've got two quick questions. Uh, film noir is essentially, it's like a, a crime mystery sex thriller. Is that what a, a crime? That's a, correct. A, a, a Any noir time is? someone talks in a low, sultry voice, yeah. that's a film noir. Like, that's <laughs> not the definition, right. obviously. But Do the rest of this segment in that voice. Yeah, no. <laughs> Um, and then the mustache, is that part of the sleazy uh, Hollywood producer part? <laughs> no, or is that natural? Has it. <laughs> yeah. natural? Yes, this is naturally grown. This is, uh, this is my mustache. It's an homage to my father, who's worn one my entire uh -huh. life. Uh -huh. But uh, it's something the costumers, you know, you, you try and look different for each role uh -huh. you do. And so. I didn't know, like, like you've had it for years, and it just so happens to work with the character. I've had it for we just weeks. Insulted you. <laughs> just weeks. That's what is it. it like as an actor playing in these two different worlds? And that's got to be a, a unique challenge for you? Yeah, it's, it is you challenging, but it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of need to get into the headspace of the different characters, and you have. 10 seconds to switch between those. Uh -huh. Luckily, with enough rehearsal, it, it gets to be pretty easy and automatic that, okay, now I'm Buddy, okay, now I'm Irwin. Mm -hmm. So that helps a lot. I've seen a lot of stuff at the Playhouse. I mean, you go back, I mean, Christmas Car from uh, the McWiggan brothers. Mm -hmm. the, I've seen a lot of shows there. But it seems like this is a little bit different than kind of what the Playhouse usually brings in. It's true. It's, it's not one of those super well-known musicals, even though it's won six Tonys. You don't see it done a lot, but it's, it's really cool. It's uh, written by Cy Coleman, who is a fairly famous jazz composer. Mm -hmm. So it's all very jazzy and, and sexy, and, and the melodies are just amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you're clearly terrific, but what about the rest of the cast? Brag on them a little bit oh so our gosh. viewers know the, the caliber to expect on stage. Oh my gosh. So the lead in the Hollywood world is uh, John Jones, and he plays Stein, the author of the book. And seriously, come out to listen to this guy sing because his pipes are golden. Really? And then you've got Isaac Riley, who is the private eye, uh -huh. and he has it down pat. He's got the mannerisms. He's got the voice. It's, <laughs> it's spot on. That's and the cool. ladies, the uh -huh. roles for ladies in this show are phenomenal. Their songs and the characters, you don't want to miss this. Uh, when's this running? Because uh, we're going to talk about ticket information here in, in a few minutes. That's right. We open this weekend, mm -hmm. March 3rd, and then we go for the full month. It's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday matinee up oh. until April 4th. So, so. With acting, how did you get into it? I mean, what do you, uh, you're a local guy? You're yes. not a local guy. Born what and raised. story? Yeah. So how did you get into it and then get to the point of where you are now with this show? It's just been a, a passion for me. When I was younger and I got introduced to it in middle school and mm -hmm. so then I continued doing theater in high school. I tried to stop for a little bit in college but I missed it. Uh -huh. So then I kept, kept going and then college, I graduated college, what's next? Well, community theater. So, mm -hmm. you know, you go to the BLT, you go to the Shelter Bell, you go to the Playhouse, Blue Barn, all yeah. these different wonderful local theater mm -hmm. scene here in Omaha. And so that just gives you so much opportunity to express yourself. Well, specifically about the Community Playhouse, what is so unique about it? I mean, I, most of the talent is locally grown, yes. right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you like about the Playhouse and the productions there? 
Uh, the staff of the Playhouse, they're just so warm and inviting. Mm -hmm. And because they have uh, grant money, they're able to really invest more in costumes. They've got full-time costume staff, set staff. I and was thinking so about the costumes when we're looking at those pictures, the first stole, I mean, every bit of it, the yes. detail is there. Yes, the mm -hmm. design and the production quality is, is very high. Mm -hmm. And so and that's a real treat. of the venue, do you feel it? You Absolutely. Like you walk through the halls and they've got pictures of Henry and Jane Fonda right. on the wall right. and all of these uh, productions. Yeah. It's, well, it's fantastic. And this production is a fantastic one, too. We'll show you some information for our viewers who want to go out there because this is going to run. And you've got some time as well. Omaha, uh, what is it, omahaplayhouse.com? Oh, we'll get there. Com, okay. <laughs> uh, Listen to this. If you'd like to go, they're doing something special for um, Wednesday, March 9th. No advance tickets at this $10 price point. But if you go to the box office on the 9th, you'll be able to get tickets for that day's show for $10. Otherwise, you're spending $40 for adults. Students get a discount at $25. Um, but it all kicks off on the 4th, and then you've got almost a month on stage at City of Angels at the Omaha Community Playhouse. There it is right there, omahaplayhouse.com. They <laughs> took the graphic away right there when I go. looked away. <laughs> so I just want to make sure. Sometimes it's .org, sometimes you never know. Uh, call uh, you got any good questions. To see you, buddy. Thanks for really nice good luck to on the run you. of the show. And did you put the guys back in the green room? Because I feel like Ryan and Jim might still be behind the curtains hanging out. I will put them back. <laughs> Please do. I will put them they back. Get, Ryan gets really offended when somebody touches his cardboard cutout. I've already apologized to <laughs> Mr. McPike. He gets really upset. I'll, I'll try and find <laughs> Mr. Flowers You later are such a treat. Thank, thank you for yeah, coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, Matt Whipke.